The Bureau of Meteorology states that Australia's climate has warmed, on average, one degree since 1910. And the latest forecasts are for temperatures to reach above 1.5 degrees beyond pre-industrial levels over the next 30 years. I'm at Western Sydney University's Hawkesbury campus, where researchers are working together with Macquarie University to work out which plants are going to survive our future and its changing climate. The planting boxes in this building actually circulate the air. Professor David Ellsworth is one of the chief investigators for the research project aptly titled, Which Plant Where? Okay, and here we are at the lab. This is where we do our drought testing measurements. The aim of the project is to find the right plant for the right environment, particularly for urban environments under climate change. We want to be able to improve the livability and resilience of our urban environments and the greening in them. We're interested in trees because they'll live through those changes in climate that we expect will happen. With the duration, frequency and intensity of extreme heat increasing across Australia, there is a real urgency to identify the plants of the future. Well, the built environment tends to attract radiation and also reflect it, which makes them warmer than the surrounding environment. This is called the urban heat island effect. And urban heat islands tend to be six or seven degrees C warmer than the surrounding countryside. How do you hope this research will be applied? Well, we want to create confidence among the general public and the gardening community and the nursery community to be able to see their plants survive through the long term. The university has large advanced climate control glass houses where they can manipulate moisture and temperature. It's here where David and the rest of the team put plants through simulated drought and heat wave conditions. So these are a set of plants that are going to go into the next set of experiments. And we have plants that come from a, a range of climates. So we take a set of half the plants that we progressively drought over five weeks. And then at the end of the five weeks, we subject all of the plants, the well-watered ones, as well as the droughted ones, to a six-day heat wave. What plants make good candidates? Well, we're looking for plants from more inland areas, plants from bioclimatic regions where there have been historical droughts and heat waves as great heat and drought tolerators. So there are plants like uh, the emu bush here, wilga and brachychiton here. We expect to be very drought tolerant and heat tolerant, and those might be the sorts of plants that we want to plant in urban areas in the future. Dr. Linda Beaumont from Macquarie University is also a chief investigator and is leading the bioclimatic modelling work. These are models where we look at the relationship between where a species occurs and the climate of that region. Once we do that, we can develop maps which showcase which areas are suitable for the species now as well as under future climates. What kind of traits are you looking for? We're looking at traits that may help confer resilience of species to climate change or that people might be interested in when they're deciding which species to plant in a particular setting. So this includes things such as the depth of roots, the shape of the tree, the canopy cover, flammability, biodiversity co-benefits and so on. And how will people utilise this information? This will all be wrapped up into an online tool that people can access to help make decisions about what plants they're going to put in the ground for their particular setting and to be confident that those plants will be resilient to climate change. For home gardeners, there are already important lessons here. Consider plants that will survive a drier and hotter climate into the future. With the challenges of a changing climate, plants are going to be more important than ever. Not only do they provide biodiversity, beauty and human health benefits, but they also provide cooling and shading for our increasingly dense cities. <laughs>